So what most people realize is, you know, there's amazing cell and gene therapies coming through in the market at the moment, and they're done and actuated in different ways. Uh, CRISPR gene editing is a way in which you can make very precise edits to a patient's DNA. And what that allows you to do is identify new targets, but also to correct some diseases. More importantly, expand the number of treatable diseases. And we're working with our partners. We've built the world's most powerful CRISPR gene editing toolbox. We've underpinned it with AI. The numbers are staggering. It's a perfect test case for AI. We're working with our partners to rapidly identify targets and therapies. And in doing so, working with them, we think, you know, we're going to increase the speed and pace with which new treatments can come to market. All right. So uh, you recently announced a partnership with AWS. That's the AI that you're talking about. But let's talk about these different treatments. It's for cancer, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, Huntington's disease, a rare disease there. So where will we possibly see this CRISPR technology be effective what area first? Would it be cancer? Would it be, you know, one of these other areas, multiple sclerosis, diabetes? Where are we going to see the big impact first, more than likely? What tends to happen is cancer tends to be the first area. Uh, dreadful diseases, uh, pediatric diseases, rare cancers, which can't be treated any other way. The FDA is very supportive of new treatments, new technology platforms, and tend to get uh, approvals coming through pretty quickly. Uh, there are still so many cancers that can't be treated well. There are still you know, dreadful stories out there. The ability to really understand the cancer at a molecular level mm -hmm. and make that change at a molecular level is a game changer. But these need you know, well-developed platforms, powerful actuated tools to make these things happen.